Hi there, today we're going to practice basic multiplication. Now, multiplication is a fancy word, and all that multiplication really means is repeated addition. So it really means just to add something at least once and possibly more than once. So for instance, if I had the number 2 plus 2, you could tell me right away that the sum is 4. We have 2 and we have another 2 here. We know that it equals 4 total pieces. Now if I showed you this, 2 times 2, well, the answer to that is also 4. Now, the special word for the answer in multiplication is product. So the product is 4. Just like when we're adding, it's the sum. In this case, it's the product. Now, what we need to know is, what does this mean here, 2 times 2? This is the multiplication symbol for times. What that's really saying is there are two groups of two. So we have a group of two here, and we have a group of two here. And if we add those all together, we have four. One, two, three, four. Two groups of two. Let's take a look at another one. With multiplication, you're always adding equal groups. So for instance, if I had the number five, and I multiply it times 4. To find the answer, we have to look at how many groupings of 4 we have here. So we have 5 groupings of 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, that's one group. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's two groups. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have 5 groups of 4 in each. So if we count those up, we'll find out that 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 equals a product of 20. Now the really neat trick with multiplication is also if 5 times 4 equals 20, then if we take a look here and we go, hey, 4 times 5, and we're trying to find out that product, well look at this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If we add those up, let's count by 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20. Look at that. It's the same product, the same answer. So even though there are different groupings, this time we have four groups of five, and this one we had five groups of four. It's the same amount. They've just been moved around. Let's try another one together. Here we have six times two. Let's find the product together, what the answer is, the product. So we say we have six groups of two. So the first thing we want to do is draw them out. One two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups, six groups. Can you count that up to figure out the answer? Well, if we skip count these, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You have a product of twelve. Six groupings of two. Nice work. Here's a couple neat tricks about basic multiplication. Say we have 6 times 0. We, we have 6 groups of 0. So that means there is nothing. And the answer has to be 0. Whether I make it 5 times 0, still equals 0 because it's 5 groups of nothing. 12 times 0, still 0. Okay. Whenever you multiply by zero, it is always going to be zero. Another neat thing is multiplying by ones. So if you're multiplying by ones, 
Here's a neat thing about it. 1 times 5. Okay, we have one group of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What's it going to equal? That's right. The product is going to be 5. If I did 1 times 2, if I draw that out, 1, 2, it's one grouping of 2, and the answer is what? That's right, 2. Whenever multiplying by 1's, the answer is always going to be the number that you multiplied with 1. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 2 equals 2. If I did 3 times 1, I'd have 1 group of 1, 2 groups of 1, 3 groups of 1. And the answer is 3. The product is always the number that is multiplied by 1. Nice work. To review, we've been practicing basic multiplication. If you are multiplying two numbers to find the answer or product, you group the number you have by the amount it says here. So for instance, 3 times 2 is one group of 2, two groups of 2, three groups of 2 for an answer or product of 6. Practice your times tables. Here we have a times table of 10 times 10. Each one of these will tell you the answer. 1 times 1 is 1. We just did 3 times 2, and we find the product of 6. If you practice your multiplication facts through your times table, it'll help you to become faster and quicker at multiplication. Great job, and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.